The purpose of this video is to discuss e-learning days. E-learning days are now allowed by the state of Illinois to be used instead of emergency days. These are days that teachers and students would work from home. Typically, an e-learning day would be used when conditions prevent the use of a school building. Could be snow, could be flooding, could be the loss of water or heat or electricity in the community. Emergency days have always had to be made up at the end of the school year. E-learning days, because we're still considered in session, do not have to be made up. And that allows parents and students and staff to all know exactly when the last day of school is scheduled on the calendar. An e-learning day would be called by the superintendent of schools using all available means of communication. At John Greer, we would not be sending home devices for e-learning days. Instead, students will have paper packets with the activities listed on the screen as part of each packet. Our plan is to send these packets home in a green two-pocket folder at parent-teacher conferences. Each packet will be clearly numbered at the top in the title as being applicable to day one, two, three, four, or five. If an e-learning day is called, an emergency situation permits, I will communicate using the traditional means of communication so that each family knows which packet number needs to be completed for that day. Our goal is that all students will complete all work. And in fact, those packets must be completed and returned in order for the student to be counted as present for that day of school. I know that's a lot of information in a short period of time. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to send me a dojo message or give me a call.